little bit since I've done a YouTube video, but I asked and you said you wanted to see like kind of a little bit of a like going somewhere video. So today we're going to take my camera and we're going to go take some car pictures at I think it's a possum lake or whatever, whatever it's called. But yeah, I'll just do some clips driving there because I don't want to film the whole way there because I don't really have a like a little stabilizer for the camera. So I'm just going to, you know record some clips going there and then I'm gonna show where we're parked and stuff and show some of the pictures and yeah that'll be today's YouTube video cool Okay, so now that we're here, we're just gonna take some pictures. We got a little area set up because there's quite a few people down where I want to take pictures. So we're just gonna do that. pretty view besides the ugly sign but overall pretty good spot okay so I originally was gonna do a video of going somewhere instead of just you know doing this but I went somewhere I went to a possum lake I'll insert a clip of it and um, I was planning on taking pictures and that was gonna be the video like the pictures and going to a possum lake but there was way too many people there, and I couldn't find anywhere to take pictures, and the one place I did find was way too bright, and, like, the sun was glaring off the car, so it didn't really, you know, work that well. But, um, instead of doing that, I'm just gonna do a little overview of everything I've changed with my car since I've gotten it, because I don't really have that anywhere on Instagram. I mean, I have some information, like, about stuff that I've changed, but I've never done, like, a video over it. So I'm going to start off with the interior and then I'm going to do probably like the trunk and stuff and then do the exterior of the car. So, yep. So starting off with my interior, there's not really much that I've done in here, but um, let's start with this, which is carbon wrapped from just, I got like a roll from AutoZone. I wrapped this and I wrapped these pieces. Then I have this custom fitted carbon steering wheel cover which is really nice because it doesn't, it, it's gripped so it doesn't slide, which this is like one of my favorite things. I have a Mishimoto, um, shift knob and a six, I think six speed shift boot. Uh, that's a really nice combo and then I just threw a scrunchie on there to match. Um, down here I have floor mats and pedal covers and I have the set of four floor mats, obviously. I have these seat covers, which don't really fit, but I am potentially going to get bucket seats, so that really doesn't matter. And I believe the radio is new. Um, this is nice because I can change the different colors on it. And I have um, actually a set of subs hooked up to this. This color out. I can pick the zones. Say I want all zone. I can pick any color I want. So, 
that's pretty cool. I usually just set it to blue because it matches my car, obviously. Okay, so let's do the trunk then. For the trunk, it's basically just these subwoofers, which I don't have the color option set up, but they are set up to work, but they do light up color. And I think it's a blue, but they the light isn't hooked up for that. Then back here, my uh, backup light sticker, which everyone loves. I have decals on this, but that will be getting a carbon fiber badge. I took that off, plastic dipped it. That one I replaced carbon fiber. There's my backup camera. All my lovely stickers. I bought from FK and Prince, except for this one and this one. These are bought from a different website. I have my visor, Instagram sticker, Instagram sticker, my wheels and rims, my carbon fiber uh, door handle covers, carbon fiber wrapped mirror covers, my um, weather guards, my happy endings banner. Uh, I just have a overlay up here and plastic dip, which is peeling, if you can see that. There's that. Uh, and I believe that's everything for the outside. Oh, well, I've gotten the windows tinted, obviously. got the Evo spoiler, which didn't have that. My, I think it's Borla exhaust with my lovely chip, but there's that. And I believe that's everything, so. So that's the overview of my car. It's not very much done to it, but it looks a lot different than like when I first got it, which I got it about like a year or so ago, probably a little over a year. And um, their accents were car are chrome, and obviously now my accents are carbon. But um, I didn't like the chrome at all. I'm not a chrome person or like a silver person, and I just feel like black and like black or carbon looks a lot better with the blue than the silver did. And um, I took off the mirror covers they had on it. The door handle covers were also chrome. The front, like, um, trimming is chrome, and I plastic dipped that, obviously. Um, my badges were chrome, which I got overlays for those, and I got a new carbon badge coming for the back. Um, yeah. I mean, there's a lot more that I'm going to do in my car. Like, a lot more, but money right now isn't that good, and I mean, I don't really want to spend a lot of money right now with everything going on. I'm going to be buying coilovers this week, hopefully putting those on. Um, that's going to totally change the look of the car, hopefully, or at least I hope it does. Um... I'm planning on getting new brakes. I want to paint my brake calibers blue. I want to get bucket seats, harnesses, harness bar. Um, new headlights and taillights if I ever can find them. There's like not very many options for headlights and taillights for Lancers. There's like the um, one brand for them. But they're like $600 for a set. And they're like LEDs. And I'm not really much of a fan of LEDs. I might eventually just swap out my tails with, uh, instead of the clear lens, just get a red lens. And um, the headlights, I'll just end up getting probably just a set of LEDs. Like maybe angel eyes or something. Uh... A lot of my carbon stuff on the outside is fading, so I might end up buying, like, new covers and stuff and clear coating them or something so they don't fade. Or just putting something on them so they don't get, like, all disgusting 
because they kind of look like crap. But I actually have a front lip piece to go in between my two stock fangs. Um, and then I might put a front lip on once I lower the car. Which I feel like that'll look really nice. I don't know if I'll ever go down the route of getting a diffuser. Because I really don't look like look, look the... I don't really like the look of a diffuser. At least on my car, I don't. No. Uh, I've pretty much done, like, most of the stuff I want to do, though. Once I'm done doing all that, I might go into my engine bay and start doing some stuff in there. Because I really haven't done anything in there. Definitely cold, cold air intake. We're going to swap that. Um, I might end up wrapping some of my plastic pieces with carbon. But the I'm going to have to find a bigger roll of carbon because the rolls of carbon wrap that I buy now from AutoZone are like $30. And I only wrapped two mirror covers with it. So I doubt I'm going to be able to wrap much in my engine bay with that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, basically. So, I mean, this is kind of a boring YouTube video, but it's something to put out for now because not much I can do right now because I don't have any new stuff coming in until I order these coilovers and I probably won't do a video on that because I'm gonna have help with that and it's gonna not it's not gonna be that interesting I mean I can probably do like an overview video of the coilovers and like the before and after look at my car and maybe like a little bit of a review on them but other than that there's not much I really can do for now but yeah basically it. Well, thank you for watching.